For the second time in eight days, the Oilers clashed with the Pittsburgh Penguins last Tuesday. It was Phil Kessel playing the hero in overtime in what was a tight but exciting matchup. In that game, Pittsburgh was coming off a 7-1 defeat in Tampa. Fast forward to today, and they're coming into this one after another 7-1 loss, this time in Winnipeg. The Oilers, meanwhile, looking to implement a little bit of urgency into their game after a disappointing loss on Saturday, which saw them give up five unanswered goals to the Washington Capitals. Right now, our group is torn a little bit between, hey, I got to score more, but while we're doing that, we're giving up more. I thought we had that fixed in uh, on the road trip where we checked and, and uh, took a lot of pride in it. It got away on us a little bit again. Uh, we'll try and reel it in and, and um, correct it here tonight. Obviously, we we need to focus our on our on our game. Uh, haven't really been where we wanted to, and uh, uh, we have our own challenge today. You know, you just want to focus on having a, a fresh start with a with a fresh month, and and uh, you know, like I said, leave October in October and uh, get things going again because it was a lot of fun last year and the experience that we had and. Uh, I think it, you know, it's, a, it's a great test with a really good opponent here tonight. Also of note, the Penguins have managed to pick up a point against the Oil in 14 straight games. A streak Edmonton would no doubt love to put an end to tonight. Looking at lineups, it's likely we see Kyler Yamamoto and Iro Pakarinen back in action. Expect them to swap in for Jujar Kera and UC Jokin. And the Penguins will be without Justin Schultz on defense. In goal tonight, Cam Talbot goes head-to-head -head against Matt Murray. Tom Gazzola, Oilers TV.